Creating text in the objects and animation screen of PTE AV Studio is very often the best option, but not always. Now I have an image open in Photoshop here that was created at my slideshow size. Let's look at a few text options that may be useful for audio visual titles. Let's begin by removing the lock from the thumbnail in the layers palette. Just click it and it'll disappear. Now we need to go to the type text tool from the toolbox. Select the horizontal type tool. Click and type in any title you wish to use. With the text highlighted, you can adjust the font style and the size along the top of the screen, but when you're ready, click the little tick to commit the text. Here's one idea. If you hold your control key and with the move tool selected from the top of the toolbox, you click on your text, it's selected. Turn the text off and select the Cloudscape. We can do a number of things with this selection. One of those is to hit Control X to cut it out. Now if we go down to the bottom of the layers, we can bring up the effects. And what we're going to do here first of all is apply a stroke. I'll put the highlight in this position here, because if you look at the image, as I put a stroke line around the edge, it also puts a stroke line around the outer edge of the image. We may not want that. So change the position from inside to outside. And of course the line is far too big. Let's bring that down to about 5 pixels. Maybe a little more, let's go to 7. Now you can see quite a nice effect. What about ticking the drop shadow and highlighting the panel? And we can make some changes there. I've got the opacity up quite high in the 90% and I've got my distance and size to 15 or 15 and it looks quite nice. We're actually looking through a hole in the text itself. The text here of course isn't live but we still have that above. Now we can save this as a PNG file which would retain the transparent nature of the word sunrise so we can place this image on top of another in PTE. This is how it could look, but as you can see I've used a video rather than a still image. Coming back to Photoshop and that selection we originally made, rather than cutting a hole, hit Ctrl J. And what we've done, as you can see on the right hand side, is to copy our text to a new layer. Now when we go down to the effects, we can add maybe a bevel and we can make adjustments here too. We can still add our stroke and we'll put it on the outside. Let's change it slightly. Let's make it a little bit brighter. And we can still add drop shadows too. So there's lots and lots of scope here. There are more variations in that effects panel than we can shake a stick at. We can add colour gradients in as many colours as you can think up. With the text on its own layer we can move it about the screen and even add textures too. Save your sunrise layer as a PNG file. Place it over the top of a completely different image and allow them to blend together. Slightly different example here, I've got an image and some text. I'm just going to go to the top of the screen to the warp text option. Now here we can choose one of the many styles. Let's choose flag. But we have a lot of changes that we can make here with these three sliders. And of course we can combine anything we're doing here with all of those ideas we looked at a few minutes ago. Here's another way we can warp our text. If we go to the right of any live text, we can right click and rasterize the type. Then I'm gonna bring up my free transform tool. You'll find that in the edit menu, but control T is the shortcut. Now we get a different option that looks similar to the warp, 
and if we click that you can see I've got some options here to pick up the corners and to adjust my text in some weird and wonderful ways. Once we commit it, of course, we still would have the opportunity to hold the control key and click the text and then maybe copy that to a new layer and add those settings we added before to make our text stand out really well. There's quite a lot in the layer styles window we're looking at here that we haven't even touched. I'm sure you'll appreciate that we've just scratched the surface of what's available with text in Photoshop when we couple it with PTE AV Studio.